Hey, so for this week's video, surprise, surprise, it's another thrift haul. Yay! I know, it's a complete surprise, a total shock. This week we're gonna do another thrift haul because that's all I do with thrift. Let's just get right into it and get started. I promise I'm going to have more new and exciting content that isn't just thrift hauls. I have plans. I always like to start with t-shirts. I got some good ones. So the first one I found is this United Mutual Life Insurance shirt. <laughs> it's vintage, it's single stitch, it's by the brand Health Knit and it's made in the USA. I always like finding uh, t-shirts that have like random things on them that don't pertain to me. And I remember someone commented on one of my videos saying that they don't like wearing things that don't pertain to them and you know, take a walk on the wild side, try it out. I like them, it doesn't bug me. For set them down, um, people in my neighborhood are being quite loud today. Okay. <laughs> I have two shirts that are from Hawaii and I just have this one that's a tank top and the front just says Hawaii 82, Hawaii 83 and on the back, guess what it says? It says Hawaii 81. I'm guessing these are from the years that they have them, like 1981, 1982, 1983. But this tank top is by Funty Sportswear and it's made in the USA and it's also single stitch. And then I have this vintage long sleeve shirt and it says Ski Hawaii, which is really cool. If you didn't know, there's actually snow on the big island. Ski Association of Hawaii. I don't know if that's is that a thing anymore. Well, there is a Hawaii ski club, so ski Mauna Kea. There you go. That's the that's the the, the mountain that you could ski on. And it's by the brand Crazy Shirts Hawaii. I thought that shirt was pretty cool because my boyfriend lived in Hawaii for a few years and we both really love snowboarding together. That's how we met. And if you also didn't know, I'm also part native Hawaiian. This next shirt I really like. It's like one of those Ringer sports shirts that says Universal Studios 79 on it. I'm assuming that's the year it was made was 1979. And it's by Collegiate Pacific and it's made in the USA and it's also single stitch. And this next shirt is my favorite shirt. I actually found this shirt at a antique shop and it was like $25, which is kind of pricey. It's just this shirt, it's Barstow de Vegas. I thought the sleeves were pretty neat and I really liked it because it had dirt bikes on it and it had cores, of course. And if you didn't know, I have a vintage Yamaha 80 from like the late 70s, early 80s, and it's the MX. It's my baby. Next two shirts are just some thermals. I love a good thermal. I always wear them during winter and fall time. I just found this pink one, and it is by the brand J.E. Morgan's Cozy, and it's me in the USA. It's just a cute little pink one. And then I found this blue one, but this blue one was kind of cool because it had this lace v-neck on the front. We're going to move on to sweaters. I have a whole ton of sweaters. The first sweatshirt I have is this one that has a squirrel on it and some cute little heart flowers. It says, God's love is everywhere. <laughs> um, but that was kind of cute. <laughs> And then I found this sweatshirt that has some killer whales on it. And it's like this very vibrant blue color and it's from 1986. It has like this cursive writing right here. And when I first saw the sweatshirt, I saw killer whales. I saw this writing, it started with an S and I thought it said Shamu, but it actually says summer. It's like really tiny writing. I'm like, why does this say summer? I'm very confused. It's a sweatshirt with killer whales and it says summer. <laughs> Unless I'm missing something, I don't know. And then I found this sweatshirt that is a zip up hoodie and it's in like this teal kind of color and it's by the brand Bassett Walker. I always like finding this brand. 
And I thought it was pretty cool because it is a zip up hoodie and I don't find these often. I would keep this if it was a different color. I'm not a huge fan of this teal color. And then I found this turtleneck that's very Christmassy and wintry. Um, it's gonna be spring, so it's gonna have to wait a year. And it's by DSB and has a cute little bee on it. I believe it's from the 70s based off of how it's made in the tag. And then this is for y'all golf lovers out there. I'm not super into golf. Um, it's not a hobby that piques my interest, but I thought this sweater was pretty cute. It says four eagle bogey and it's by the brand Adreno Argenti. And then I found another one of these 70s cardigans and it's supposed to have like a little tie, but the tie is missing, but I thought this was too pretty to not pick up. It's by the brand Bellissimo. <laughs> found this sweater and I really love this one. It's just a navy sweater with little green polka dots all throughout it and it's by the brand The Piper and it's 100% pure wool so this is going to be itchy as heck. found another Christmassy kind of sweater. This one just has some designs at the front, kind of like a fair aisle but not really and it's by the brand Meister. Then I found this cardigan and it's from like I would say the late 50s early 60s based off of how it's made and it's this striped detail and the style is pretty like 50s 60s as well. And then this next item is my favorite. It's a sweater vest and it is by the brand Warren Knit and it's moth proofed with mitten and I'm pretty positive it's from like the 40s based off the tag. I'm really loving um, sweater vests but like button up sweater vests and then putting a thermal underneath it. I have some vests as well. I found this leather one, this western leather one and it has some like concho details on the side and some braided details on the front. It's by Hot Leathers, little flames on. It's a little big on me so. I will probably be selling that. I found a hunting vest from the 60s and it's by the brand Black Sheep Brand Hunting Clothing from Dallas, Texas. But I thought it was just like an interesting vest. I don't know what I would do with it, but you have your pockets for your shotgun shells right here. Got some pockets in the front and the back has a big old pocket with some plastic lining on the inside. So you put your your bird in there. I don't know why I got it. I just thought it was cool. I really liked the tag. I'm a sucker for tags. We're still on to shirts. I found this 60s, 70s little top, this floral top, and it's by the brand Andrew St. John. And I really like finding like 60s, 70s tops because especially the floral ones, because you don't know if it's like ugly or cute. This is an interesting little little number right here. It's a floral, like kind of gingham patterned button up, but it's not just any ordinary button up. It's a leotard kind of button up. And it has like little snaps at the bottom and it's by the brand Bodysuits by Huckapoo. Then I found this 60s, 70s little plaid blazer but it's like a lightweight blazer so it'd be perfect for spring and it's by patty woodward california and i just saw it was very bright and vibrant and fun i found a bathing suit top that's also from like 60s 70s i would say kind of reminds me of poppies it has little buttons on for the straps and then you could adjust the back as well i found this 60s Boy Scout little button up. It has a bunch of patches on it and it even has a little pin on it as well. And if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that I really love finding Boy Scout memorabilia and clothing and things like that. I found this button up as well. It's like a very pretty purpley color and on the back it says Packard Marine and it's in like chain stitch, I believe is what it's called. And so I think this is from like the 50s or 60s. And on the front in chain stitch it says and the brand of this is Geomaster Quality Samurized Garment. Now my favorite item of this whole thrift haul is this 
jacket that's by Towncraft Pennies. It just has a whole bunch of Boy Scout patches on the front and the back as well and they're just so much fun to look at it's kind of one of those items when you go thrifting and you go <gasps> verbally like scream in the store but not really scream you just gasp all right so we're gonna move on to pants i don't have very many pants honestly i just found these orange tab levi shorts and i thought these were a nice pair of shorts they're probably vintage from the 70s have you ever seen um pendleton shorts before because I haven't until I found these. <laughs> and they're actually pretty cute on. I wish they were my size because I would probably keep them because they're kind of interesting. <laughs> and then I found this wool skirt and I believe this one's handmade. It's probably from like the 50s, I would say. On to the last two clothing items. I found this really fun dress that's made in Hawaii. Look how vibrant it is. Wow. So I believe it's like from the 60s, I would say, maybe late 60s, early 70s. But based off of how it's made, there's some raw hems on the inside as well. And the cut of it, it has like a very high bust line. Depending on how this fits me, I might keep it for myself. I don't know if I'd ever wear anything this bright though. And then the last clothing item, it's this two-piece 70s set. And it comes with these really awesome bell-bottom pants that are high-waisted and they fit me just perfectly. It's by the brand Shelly's Tall Girl Shops. These pants go on forever. They're so long on. I think I'm gonna hem them. Just like roll them up and like do like a light little stitch. Came with some pants and a top as well. Kind of like a jacket, I would say. And this has like this little buckle detail on the neckline. For accessories, I only found one, which is a scarf, but it's a fun scarf. I really like this scarf. So I'm sorry for this, but all I can think of why I did this was I was thinking of Randy from A Christmas Story. Yeah, that's about it. So sorry for this, this monstrosity. It goes from like white to this like burnt orangey kind of color. It's by Kmart actually. And always one of my favorite items to find at their store are these curtain plaid blankets. Usually they're wool. This one I don't believe is wool. It's actually really comfy. I really like this one. It's very bright. I didn't find a brand on this one. So that's a mystery. I also found, <laughs> I also found a few books. I found this cookbook. It's called The Mystic Seaport Cookbook, 350 Years of New England Cooking. I mainly got it because I really liked the, the picture on the front. It has a bunch of different recipes in it as well. And then I also found Treasure Island, which I've actually been wanting to read this book. And this one is from 1911 copyrighted 1911. It has some pictures in it. It was an old library book. It says library right there. And then this is my favorite book. I actually found this at an antique shop, but it was only like $4. And it's the works of Stuart Edward White, Camp and Trail. And this is also from like the 19, I think this one's 1918. Nope, 1913. And it has like tips on camping and trailing. <laughs> the illustrations in this book are really cute. They have like a little tent and they have horses. I've been wanting to find a pair of vintage ice skates and I found this pair. <laughs> I've been wanting to use like a pair of vintage ice skates for like decoration during Christmas time because I think it would look cute to like hang on the wall and be like a little ice skating. And I found these, I believe these are from like early 1900s to 1920s. They're just some leather ice skates and they look like they could actually fit me. I am not sticking my foot in there. No, thank you. And I always have to find some type of beer memorabilia. I found this Stroh's. Strohs, is that how you pronounce it? I don't really know this beer all too much. I usually collect Coors, Paps, Olympia, or Miller mainly. I liked the swan, so I got it. I love collecting beer mirrors, so I have quite a few in my house. Just a, just a couple. 
I have one more item that I found at the thrift. It's just a vintage wood and metal sled. I've been wanting to find one of those as well for surprise, surprise, decorating for Christmas time. <laughs> it's kind of hard finding them. Sometimes I'll see them and then sometimes like I won't see them at all. So I saw one, I grabbed it, got it. All right, so that is my thrift haul. I'm going to have other content besides just thrifting. I know a lot of people mainly come to this channel for thrifting and I know a lot of viewers like just thrifting but I want to do other videos as well like maybe renovating my house and then if you didn't know I go camping and hiking a lot as well so I'm curious if you guys would want to see that kind of content as well I don't know there's a lot of things I want to do in film but I'm just not sure if other people would want to see that or watch that because I watch that nobody watches it then I'll know no one likes it okay I'm done talking that's the end of this video have a great day later got my sideburns they look extra spicy today I don't know what I'm doing I'm just a little weirdo